guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. I'm coming to you guys from my room at my dad's house, actually, and I don't come here nearly as much. Basically, if you guys don't know my family dynamic, my family, uh, my parents were got divorced a while back, and they've just always stayed such good friends. They vowed to us they would, and they really did, and I'm beyond thankful for that. Um, so honestly, my mom and my dad live pretty close where my dad's at work most of the time, and so when he's done with work, he'll like come over for dinner at my mom's house, and we'll hang out, and by the time it's like, nine or ten o'clock he just like goes home and goes to bed and like he's just like just sleep here you know it's just i don't know it's just i don't come here enough and it's not okay but i'm gonna try and come here more because i freaking love my room here but yeah i slept here last night because if you guys didn't know my dad had um a heart procedure done he has atrial flutter i believe it's called it's kind of like atrial fibrillation and he had to get a procedure done and then it didn't work exactly so we had to take him to the emergency room a couple days later and i've just been like wanting to hang out with him a little bit more just to make sure all is well and i just realized that i'm just not here a lot so i got thai food for us last night we hung out i slept over and now we're here and uh he went to work this morning and I just made myself a cup of coffee. Actually, he doesn't use cream anymore, so I made black coffee and it's actually not bad. It's like I really could drink it black coffee all the time, but you know, so and go dogs. But yeah, I'm having a lovely start to the morning. It's Monday morning. I started um, my online summer classes on this last Friday, so it was like an easy start. So I already put all the deadlines and dates and stuff in my calendar from the syllabus. One of my classes, I just have to write a super long paper, like literally 20 pages. And the other class is marketing and I have assignments due every week at the end of the week and then exams like every two to three weeks kinda. So yeah, and both will be done on July 30th and then I go back to school. I'm honestly already so excited to go back to school. Like I am. <laughs> yeah, it's 9 a.m. now. I'm gonna work on some schoolwork, um, respond to some comments on my video, edit yesterday's vlog, and then Brooke and I at 12 p.m. are recording a new episode of Gals on the Go, and I have to um, kind of outline what I want to say in that and like figure out what we're talking about. So I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. I'm really excited for this coming week. I just feel like with everything that has been going on, it is so important to just have like this active desire for positive change, and now I'm just actively like being so conscious about just everything in my life and i think it's gonna be really 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 great so i love you guys and let's just make this day a good day a good week a good year let's do it <laughs> i'm gonna freak out guys i don't know what happened i want to cry i uploaded right before i went to bed last night all the clips from yesterday's vlog <sighs> and i just simply don't see them anywhere and of course i stupidly just deleted everything off my camera like right before I started vlogging so I was like oh I already uploaded all of it like no big deal okay well now there's not gonna have been a room tour in my last vlog because <sighs> it's not here well since I am silly and deleted all the footage from yesterday's vlog that means you guys wouldn't have seen a room tour so welcome to my room my dad's house I actually love it so much it makes me so happy I just try to make my bed really fast and we can tell there's my brother's room it's like very dark um but yeah when you walk in I've got this mirror right here I've got this really soft rug I'm almost positive it's literally from Costco <laughs> um and it has these awesome big windows I kind of went for a boho vibe when I decorated this Got a vanity, I believe that's from like PB Teen. Um, some random like wall decorations. I love this desk chair so much. Um, yeah, I think my bedding's from our outfitters. Some random pillows. Got another like faux fur blanket here. This is probably my favorite part of my room. This chair, swing chair, is from Urban Outfitters, I believe. It's not very comfy, I can't even lie. Then I have those really happy um, sunflowers, fake sunflowers, obviously. Some candles lining along the windows. I actually have a record player here that is so fun to use. Maybe I'll use that today. My closet. It's got so many clothes from like literally when I was 12. <laughs> like this dress is from, <laughs> from so long ago. Like half the stuff like, like this. If you guys watch my videos like literally years ago, you would recognize some of this clothing. Like an Abercrombie tote bag. Wow, this is like... I need to definitely go through this. Like, these shoes, can we just give a moment? Can we give a moment? But, um, 
Yeah, so that's my closet. There's, I usually just like bring stuff. Also, this is pink because my walls used to be pink here. I tried to make it like Paris theme for a second. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that I don't come here more, but I'm going to try to. And I like to film videos here. That chandelier is so freaking beautiful. And yeah, and then this is my vanity, but it's mainly like a desk now. So yeah, a little, little room tour for you guys. All right, guys. Um... It's 11.05, which means Brooke and I are recording pretty soon, and I don't have my recording mics here. I wish I just brought them with me, because this is just such a quiet place to record, and my house is always just so loud with, like, Freddie and just everyone running around. So, whatever. But I um, I brought a change of clothes, but I think I'm just going to wear this. I'm actually <laughs> going to go get more coffee. There's just this coffee shop that I love, and... I'm gonna be in my car anyway since I'm driving to my mom's house. So I'm gonna stop by. It's like a local coffee shop, so I always like to support them because they were able to stay open throughout everything. Like at first, like to go, and now you can go in and sit there. Florida's pretty much back to normal, opened up. I mean, there's some social distancing rules at certain places, and I wear masks when I go to the grocery store and certain places where you're like around a lot of people, but. Um, it's pretty it's pretty nice, but I'm really happy that they stayed open and I always just like to support them because they have really good iced lattes if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna stop by, get some iced coffee, and then head over and get ready to record with Brooke. I wrote everything down um, and like we outlined our episode for this week. We're doing like a catch-up slash things that we learned in the last week. <laughs> Hey guys, back in the normal uh, office you're used to seeing. I have a throat bubble, do you hear that? I need my blue light glasses. I haven't had them on all morning. It's crazy how much it actually affects you. Um, I'm going to FaceTime Brooke because she is ready. And I got an ice latte with oat milk. Very, very good. It's definitely uh, reviving me. Oh, I also need to take my hair, skin, and nails multivitamins here you're supposed to take three ideally after you eat um so i'm gonna take those i'm trying to be better to my hair i also have collagen peptides that i need to take calling brooke i need to get my mic hey hello i see you how you doing good morning good afternoon good yeah, I know. It's already afternoon. What the heck? I know. Um, well, actually, three minutes till the afternoon. Three minutes. And Danielle, excited for a new week with you guys. We're so excited to just sit down and chat about what we've been up to, what we've learned, and just overall, just a great week, I feel like. All right, guys, coffee is just about done. Brooke and I just finished recording. It was such a good episode. I'm really excited for you guys to listen to it. So if you guys don't know, Brooke and I have a podcast called Gals and the Go. We upload every Wednesday. It's honestly gotten like pretty freaking successful and I'm really proud of it and I will say that. And we get like a couple hundred thousand listens per episode, which is literally more views and I get on YouTube usually so that's kind of crazy like gals and guys starting to become bigger than my YouTube like what I think also just a lot more people are like listening instead of like they don't always have time to like watch stuff but yeah so I'm actually submitting the clips to our producer now so we can get that episode edited um and um I'm actually about to record like a little video for this gal who watches my videos, and it's her birthday, and someone asked me if I would do that, so I'm just gonna give her a little B-Day shout out. I don't look amazing, but that's okay. I'm vlogging, so why can't I film a birthday video, you know? Um, but the sun is out, and it hasn't been out in a, a month, a month, a week, and I'm kind of tempted to just lay out in the sun for like an hour or so and read my book. I'm really into reading. Just popped on a bathing suit. I wear this one a lot. It's just like a great like tanning bathing suit. Um, I also wanted to show you guys this new little organizer I got here. So I got it off Amazon. I'll link it down below. I also have an Amazon shop with a ton of my favorite things. If you guys didn't know, I just like threw all my products right here. And this is just literally perfect. It was so inexpensive. It has all my skincare. I tried to have it organized like, like my day serums and then um, all of my masks. Uh, night serums and then I've got some masks like some eyebrow razors or whatever these are called my jade roller tweezers up here and then sunscreen which is what I came in here to get right now I love this super goop unseen sunscreen I put it on my face every time I tan because it's just so important and you can barely feel it on your skin and it's unseen as it says here it's SPF 40 I love this stuff 
So I'm gonna put this stuff on right now, but I just thought it was an opportunity for me to show you guys this cute little organizer I got, and it was just so easy to build. It was kind of fun. Okay guys, so now that I realize that you guys didn't see my vlog yesterday, my sweet friend Kenzie Elizabeth sent my family an edible arrangements just because she heard about everything with my dad. And it was so sweet and I vlogged it. I literally like answered the door yesterday and now you guys don't get to see it. But thank you again, Kenzie. Shout out. We ended up having to take everything off of the really pretty edible arrangement because we couldn't fit in our fridge. So I'm going to bring this down to the pool with me. How resort vibes. Don't we love that? <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. And then I also have been doing this thing lately where I drink my kombucha out of a wine glass just to, you know, feel something different. <laughs> um, so I'm... I, I've drinking like half of this because I drank it with my dinner last night in a wine glass. So this is the Synergy Gingerberry one. They ID'd me for this because I guess it could potentially have a little bit more alcohol than normal. I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to grab a glass and pour it in. You either love or you hate kombucha and I love it personally. So yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to bring this down with my fruit and we're just going to have a little day. I just miss the sun and it's been raining for a full week straight and I want to get a little vitamin D. I've been taking vitamin D gummies actually um, from Neutralite. So that's been definitely helping. But um, yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so it's 3 o'clock now. I think I've been out here for a little bit more than an hour, just kind of how I wanted it. I'm still really enjoying it. However, I'm currently reading Danielle Bernstein's book. She's like one of the first fashion bloggers, honestly, ever. Um, and it's just so interesting listening, or listening, reading about her life and kind of how she developed everything and how she was such a go-getter. And I feel like lately I've kind of like lost that spark within myself and I just feel like totally motivated again. Like I really just want to like run inside and like kind of just write down new ideas for my channel, for my social media, what I want my brand to look like. I feel like my brand is very just positive, uplifting, a little workout, a little lifestyle, a little bit of fashion. And I really just kind of want to like nail down what my passions are. I'm just like in a motivated mood, like might go on Pinterest. I don't know. I'm just like really motivated right now, which is a great feeling. Um, so I think I'm going to head inside in a bit and just kind of like take advantage of this creative energy I have right now and I'm honestly sweating really bad <laughs> so I think I'm gonna just um, take a shower and I haven't worked out today that's also a goal also I did a whole workout thing in my vlog yesterday I was just got it upset sorry I'm being so annoying about that but that's just my fault you know you learn from your mistakes as I've said before and I should have waited to delete everything off my memory card until after I for sh knew for sure it was all on my computer. I'm still so confused on how that happened. But anyways, feeling good. My mom just got home, I think, from the grocery store. So I'm going to go chat with her. Yeah. This is kind of a weird vlog. Shout out to today's tan line. Pretty excited about that. Alright, I'm going to shower. Hi guys. So I just showered and popped on this comfy little fit for now. Um, top is from Adika Style. I'm like obsessed with their stuff right now. It's online. Shorts are from Aritzy. A lot of you guys asked about them when I posted on Instagram a while back. Um, and I've just been really into keeping my hair in a bun. Um, I'm trying not to use as much heat on it. So that is kind of just helping me. Um, so yeah, I'm listening to a podcast right now. Yeah, I'm I was listening to a podcast while I was getting just dressed. I think I am going to finish listening to it a little bit. Tidy up my desk. It gets so messy so easily. I have clothes to put away, clean laundry there, um, and then create a good space so I can sit on my desk. It's not sit on my desk, sit at my desk and go through kind of what I was telling you guys about outside, kind of just like inspire myself. <laughs> Alright, so I tidied up my desk area a little bit. I need to go through the, the all these books and magazines that I have on my um, nightstand because I feel like I don't really need them there anymore. I should probably switch to the books that I'm actually reading out on my nightstand. I have so many essential oils and melatonin and all these things. I need to go through that as well. I'm also drinking some hot tea right now. But yeah, it's so hard keeping this room clean. I feel like it constantly looks cluttered and I don't. I don't know. Any tips are welcome for any parts of my room. If you guys are like, oh, you should do that, like, please tell me. Uploading a video right now. Um, I want to revamp my cork board. It's actually 
really sad um i've had this up for so long just like all these memories and like oh this is from coachella but i kind of want to make it a little bit more simple looking so it doesn't look as crazy over here um so i think i'm just going to make it all polaroids which is really um bummy in a way another coachella one i just have all these polaroids that i brought from athens that i took there's me and margo me and ryan um just like all kinds of fun stuff that i want to hang up slowly take some things down this is from me from like a couple years ago so crazy like the shoot i did she like also took polaroids which was really fun um this actually if you guys don't know i played brooke windham in legally blonde in my high school that's me right there to do the whole jump roping bit um a lot of people don't know that about me i was a big theater geek but i just thought it was time to kind of switch this up a little bit so i think that's what i'm gonna do now here's me and margo um, but yeah, wow, actually I have a lot of Polaroids here. That'll be good because I want to like kind of fill this whole thing up. Oh my gosh, that's from literally senior year of high school. Beautycon. I didn't even know this was up here. It was hidden. Me, Molly, and Aaron. Oh my God. I have all these like post-it notes from like just ages ago trying to motivate myself this recent one of ryan and i this is from my meetup in new york city literally yeah, i don't even know 2016 2017 fun fact my high school didn't do cap and gown actually you wore like a white dress instead so but they did give us a tassel when we graduated so that's what that's from this is when i was in the tampa tribune like the teen of teen version i think this is what it was this is from actually forever ago okay for those of you wondering what i look like with brown hair that's it take it for what you will i just don't think it was for me personally that wasn't natural i like, dyed it this is the shopping tag that you got if you ordered my backpack that i sold like literally so professional i love it so i'm gonna uh this is so emo but i just want it to look a little bit more simple and clean here all right here we are we have started fresh i definitely don't have enough like pins for all my Polaroids, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Well, guys, I did it, and I seem to have done it um, very asymmetrically. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. These are all like really random pictures. Honestly, I'm not a big Polaroid taker, so these are just ones I happen to have. I do have some just random Polaroids. I guess Ryan and I did some sort of <laughs> photo shoot one day because I have all these random Polaroids. I think I just got a Polaroid from like a brand, so we were just like playing around with it. And then Delaney had taken these. So Delaney took these, <laughs> but I guess we don't have any together. That's from a meetup that these gals gave me. Me and Margo in Germany. So yeah, um, I think I like it a lot better. I think it's a lot more simple. I'm still working on getting some different items for that because they're just a little outdated. I just, they're like my last priority right now. Okay, so my bathing suit drawer just kept overflowing and so I decided to like take everything out and like match them all together. This is insane, but this is Florida life, okay? I've had these all for like so long, some new. So these are the bathing suits that I just don't wear anymore and I need to just let go of because I just don't wear them. And then I'm just kind of like mix and matching all of these and honestly this is like really aesthetically pleasing. But I almost still just feel like they're not all going to fit in there. I feel like I need to start using that drawer for something else. And I just have this big shopping bag. I'm almost tempted. I know this sounds really weird. Um, but to just put all of my bathing suits in this bag and like make it some sort of decor. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. Like this is an old shopping bag. This is not new. Because I constantly am trying to get bathing suits out of here and it's just not... It's just hard. My my closet's just poorly designed, like the doors and everything. So I feel like I should use this for like more shirt storage because like I already have like overflow of like shirts here and then I have so many shirts here. I have a California closet which has its pros but also just makes everything look so much more messy. I'm not perfect, okay? Every time I show my closet in my room, people will just make fun of me and say that it's not clean and I'm trying. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to just put all these in here put these shirts down there and then i'll put this there wow 
Once again, no one's home. Jam is some country music. My mom said she made um, rice and beans and green beans. So it was all of my favorite things. Ooh, I think the rice is in there. So I guess I'm gonna have dinner with me, myself, and I. Okay, so this is actually my dream dinner. Rice and beans with green beans. Holy crap, I could actually eat this every day. Hi friends, so I just finished eating and I want to go for a bike ride. The sun is starting to set. It's golden hour. It's so, so, so pretty outside right now. So I'm going to hop on my actual bike since I didn't end up doing a real workout today. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. You got to listen to your body. So I switched into some biker shorts actually because it's hard to like actually bike in like the shorts I was wearing earlier. So yeah, I've got my AirPods in. I'm going to listen to some happy music and ride. <laughs> So it's 8.45 now. I have so many bug bites. Like, it's mosquito season. I went for a really, really long bike ride. I listened to my Happy Days playlist on Spotify. I highly recommend it. It's just like feel-good indie pop alternative music. And then the sun was setting when I got back. So I just went out to my backyard, grabbed my notebook. I was feeling inspired. And I wrote down my manifestations for um, summer 2020 because I want to make them like, you know, more like feasible things that I can really try and achieve before I go back to school in the fall. Um, so basically like really just the next month and a half. That's kind of crazy. Just really nice. I watched the sunset. I grabbed a LaCroix and it was just really nice. And I reflected on just everything so yeah i think i'm actually gonna take another shower because i feel gross and why not i can <laughs> and then just kind of get into bed edit this video and read you guys know me i'm really into reading and yeah tomorrow will be a whole new day i love you guys thanks so much for watching subscribe if you're new here follow me on instagram tiktok all the things and i'll see you guys soon for our next video Bye bye